Assalamualaikum. In today's video, I'll be giving an overview of some basic commands uh, that are used in AutoCAD. So let's start. I'm opening my AutoCAD software. Uh, it would take a while to uh, launch. You can see that. Uh, let's start. I'll click on start drawing now, and you'll see there several commands uh, on the home tab there is line polyline circle arc uh, rectangle or a polygon uh, send, uh, ellipse uh, hashing uh, if you want to move uh, copies let's rotate uh, mirror scale frame or fill your diagram you can also do that with these commands and if you want to uh, dimension your figure you can use it from here or you can go to annotate uh, and uh, select whatever dimension you want to do uh, we'll be discussing each and every of, uh, one of these commands in the next videos uh, and we'll also be discussing about these layer properties uh, as we'll be making se uh, separate layers for uh, main drawing the dimensions uh, the extension lines the middle lines plane lines so each and every uh, figure would be uh, part would be made on a different layer okay so let's start uh, this is the first command line you can uh, select any point and stretch it wherever you want you can uh, manually select the dimensions from uh, extending or reducing the cursor or you can just uh, type let's suppose i want to draw a line of 10 here so i'll put 10 and enter so i'll am i have a line of 10 now and i want to draw a line of uh, uh, 5 at an angle of 90 degrees so i'll enter it a line. and if you want to uh, get out of the command you can press escape or you can uh, cancel it you can just right click and cancel it. so you'll get out of the command this is basically uh, uh, a lines the line command you can see that each and every line over here is separate uh, is, is separate it's different uh, so if we we'll, if we we'll use polylines, you can see that uh, I'm drawing basically the same thing. But but it 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 acts as one. So this is the, the difference between polylines and uh, uh, line. You can see that I, I, this line, this line, this line was drawn uh, consecutively, but uh, these are separate lines. And if you use polyline, it, it acts as, as as one. Okay. So next is circle. If you want to draw a circle, just click on it and uh, specify a point and give it give it the with the radius is three. I'll be giving two units, and so we have this circle of. I'll just type two and enter it. So now I have a circle of two units. And if you if you want to draw an arc, I can just select this uh, a three point arc or a star center angle arc, a star center end arc, or whichever kind of arc uh, I'll be using I can add it okay so I'll be using uh, start center end so this would be where I'm starting my arc this is my end of the arc and this is my center so you can see that I have created an arc over here alright next is a rectangle so if you want to I want to draw a rectangle. I can select my first point first, and then I can just uh, give my length of 
3 units and the breadth of 2 units and enter it so I have the rectangle now this is if I want to uh, hash it so I will use hash just select the point you know uh, I think I have this hashed area this highlighted area basically um, if you want to zoom in and zoom out you can use your scroll if, I, if I'm scrolling up this is the, this is zooming in and if I want to zoom out I'll scroll down so you know it, it zooms out all right next uh, are these basic commands if I want to move my any of my figure uh, uh, I click move uh, I'll select the object and then I'll press enter now it asks the, uh, what point you want to move it so we can move it like this all right if you want to copy your circle when you have uh, similar shapes in a figure you want to copy it so you can just select copy and select the object you want to copy then press enter and wherever you want to copy you can just click it and you know work take away your object and you don't have to copy it every time uh, if you have copied it once it would uh, be uh, pasting on several locations so it's not a big deal and if you want to get it out again you can either right click or cancel it or you can press escape i'm not pressing escape right now since uh, uh, the video recording would end so i'm using this right click and uh, cancelling the commands now i'll be using the rotate command uh, you want to rotate any of your object you can just uh, select it and press enter again you can see that your circle over here is rotating at a certain point so i have to select a point where i have to rotate my object then if you want to mirror it let's mirror this uh, line so I'll select this line first I select mirror then I will select this line and then I'll press enter and this is the opposite sorry I'll select this mirror and select my object and I'll press enter and this is the point where I have to mirror it you can see this you can mirror it uh, in any direction you can mirror it upwards or you can mirror it downwards well like this and then you want if you want to get out of it you can always right click and uh, press cancel uh, one more thing uh, like ms word or any uh, other office command you if you want to go back you if you want to undo you can just press ctrl z so you'll be undoing whatever you have gone and you can also if you want to redo it you can press ctrl y and you will be redoing your uh, objects okay now if you want to add a fillet you can just select this if you want to add uh, a radius over here you can just select the first object that is the sign uh, and then you will just uh, press the downward arrow you can add the radius like uh, let's add the radius of 2 and enter and then I'll be selecting the second point you can see that uh, the radius is always is uh, uh, being made and I click the second object the radius will be detained all right so this is uh, the radius the the fillet command and now uh, the scale command if you want to scale your drawing up or down you can do it as well if you uh, just press this scale uh, and select this object press enter uh, this is the center point I'm selecting now it asks the uh, scale factor if you want to reduce it you can just type it like uh, 0 0.5 half scale the circle is reduced now and if you want to increase it you may uh, add a larger uh, an, an enlarging scale so first you will uh, uh, select scale again <coughs> And then select the object press enter and then we'll be giving the center point that is the center point of the circle 
and then you will be asking for scale so you type 2 that is the uh, double enlarging scale enter it so your your object is enlarged uh, now if you want to add dimensions to this you can use this annotate command you will uh, go on the annotate tab and you can see over here that uh, you want to dimension it so you select this dimension and what kind of dimension you want you want a linear dimension or you want an aligned dimension an angular dimension or a dimension for radius or diameters so we'll be looking uh, at this as well so if you want to dimension this line uh, i'll be selecting linear uh, dimensions and i'll be selecting the points which i have for asset at this dimension so i have selected these two points and then i'll uh, drag it uh, whichever length i want to dimension and i click it so now you can see that uh, here i have the dimension of my line and if i want uh, the, the, the dimension of the circle you can you can also uh, you know uh, linearly linearly dimension it but the best way is to dimension it in an radius form or a diameter form so i'll be selecting radius and in dimension i'll be selecting the circle and you can see that it is the radii of this circle so it's, it's very uh, it's very small you can uh, increase this uh, the size of the dimension as well which we'll be discussing in the uh, later videos okay so these were some basic uh, AutoCAD commands uh, of uh, annotate uh, and we learned here to dimension and previously we learned about line polyline circles uh, arcs uh, rectangle I also want you to uh, practice each and every uh, one of these commands we'll also be discussing this in the later videos but uh, you have to uh, practice it out so in circle you can click this on this arrow you can see that there are several type of circle as well several methods of circle as well we'll be discussing these uh, all uh, and in arcs you can also see that there are several type of arcs being made so again we'll be discussing that uh, in the next video okay so i want you to practice uh, these basic commands just to that you just uh, know what uh, how this works and how, on how many clicks on how many uh, input it, it works all right so thank you for watching this video again